Since the mid-1800s, tens of thousands of commercial fishermen in Maryland and Virginia have hauled hundreds of millions of bushels of oysters out of Chesapeake Bay. They were fishing on oyster bars that probably once looked like this. Dense clumps of large oysters crammed together over time into vast underwater reefs. The historic oyster reefs of the Chesapeake, like the coral reefs of the Caribbean, formed huge living underwater structures. After a century and a half of heavy harvesting, and after four decades of oyster disease, what's happened to these great reefs? We wanted to find out. We wanted to show other people what the bottom of the bay looks like now. Now the only people who see it are scuba divers. and they only get to see it on fairly calm days. Remember, the red dot is up. We red began experimenting up. with a variety of underwater okay. cameras. We started by sending scuba divers down to observe these historic bars and videotape them. We found most of the reefs broken down and scattered by fishing. And many of the oysters dead from diseases, like Dermo and MSX. There's, there's one clump. And they're de dead oysters, basically. Oysters that have been, uh, that have died and they're, they're uh, stuck together. But there's no living tissue inside. This is what most of Maryland's historic oyster bars look like now. A few worms, some scattered shells. Compared to the rich community that was once here, little is left. Today the oyster population is about 2% of what it was 100 years ago. The great reefs have been broken down and scattered by heavy fishing. Thousands of acres have been buried by sediments, and then diseases have killed many of the remaining oysters.